Hi everybody, welcome back to the wrap up of this week's uh, challenge as part of the Love of Sewing Challenge. We've talked about piecing quilts. And as you know, a quarter inch seam allowance is the gold standard when it comes to piecing um, accurate quilts. And the Destiny 2 has two basic feet that, that really help with that process. We've talked about the J foot, that's the basic foot for the machine, as well as the quarter inch foot with the seam guide. And those combined with features that are programmed in the machine, as well as settings, you can make adjustments for yourself and save those settings give you lots of options for sewing with a perfect and accurate quarter inch seam allowance. So here we are sewing with the, the quarter inch foot, just using that, that guide on the side of the foot and, and running our fabric right next to the guide. And that gives us a great quarter inch seam allowance. We can also move our needle over just slightly to create that quarter, that scant quarter of an inch seam allowance. Using the J foot, look how it's so quick and easy to just switch feet, I love it. There's settings in the machine in the Q menu that will automatically move your needle so that you can use the edge of this foot as a guy, as um, to create that quarter inch seam allowance as well. Another really awesome feature that I love on this machine is this laser guide beam. And you can see it just lines up right here, the straight line down the center when you turn it on. So if I am wanting to sew diagonal lines, I can easily just feed my, my quilt pieces through the machine using that as a guide, lining up the bottom corner of that square right along that guide as it goes through the machine. For this project, we've been making those double half square triangle blocks. So we need two seams a quarter inch away from the, that center line. And so in order to get that, I just shift that laser beam over to the quarter inch mark. And then make sure my stitch is the right setting. I can just you do the same thing. And that way I'm, I'm sewing a quarter inch of a way from that center diagonal line. And I rotate it and, and feed it through. Second time. To get those two diagonal lines, then we'll cut down the center and I'll have two half square triangle blocks. There's more on this in the notes for this, this class. A few final tips to help you get nice, clean, even stitches to help that seam allowance just be perfect. Don't forget to change your needle regularly. A sharp needle makes a huge difference in having even, clean stitches. I even recommend a Microtex sharp needle as extra sharp and great for piecing. Also, don't forget to clean out your machine regularly. I like to, every time I change my bobbin, I do a quick swipe with my um, little, little cleaning brush that comes with the machine. And every two or three times I pull, I take out the stitch plate and really give it a good clean out with a vacuum or a nice brush. Even like a pipe cleaner it can, is good at catching a lot of lint. Also, I recommend a lightweight, a 50 weight cotton thread will help you, um, especially the majority of time when you're just piecing with cotton fabric, that definitely helps you get a cleaner, narrower stitch to really help with the accuracy of your piecing. If you're using a cotton poly blend fabric, you might wanna use a blend um, thread as well, but for the most part, I recommend a 50 weight thread. And finally, you can find all of the information for this project for the Sewing is My Sunshine patchwork. If you're new to patchwork, I hope it's a fun way to practice some skills and learn something new. You can find the PDF download for the pattern as well as the PDF download for the, the free Sewing is My Sunshine printable on my blog, diaryofaquilter.com. And thank you so much to Baby Luck for letting me be part of this challenge. Thanks to all of you who are participating. I hope you're trying new things. I know I am. I've learned a ton of new things already, not only about the Destiny 2 sewing machine and the awesome features it has, but just great skills for improving my sewing altogether. And I hope you'll learn more through the rest of the challenge. Have fun. Thanks for having me.